so this is what I uh, ended up with. Um, it's a small little board, but uh, only paying two dollars for them. Who cares? Um, so uh, this is the program counter. I did add uh, two bypass capacitors. I also added a, a uh, push button switch. Um, I connected that to the clear. Um, so pushing this button should do a reset of the computer. So that's pretty handy. And it comes with a little uh, pull down. Uh, it's a high going pulse. So the switch pulls it high and the pull down keeps it low. So I don't need to connect anything to the clear pin and I can execute my clear just with a um, push of the switch. Um, so I looked at what other boards I wanted to do and we haven't done the uh, clock board yet. Uh, it's not really ready, but I figured, ah, well, let's just go ahead and do something, have have something in there to make it look uh, complete. So um, the gal is the two-phase clock generator. Um, there's a 555 tur uh, uh, circuit that actually um, generates the master clock. Um, I was using those little piggyback boards um, that you can get just dirt cheap off of eBay. So what I've done is I've laid out this board to use either one. I, uh, this outline is the size of that little uh, board that you can get off of eBay, and it connects with these with this three-pin uh, header here. So um, you don't need to load anything. You just put on your own little board. Um, or if you want to load your own stuff, I uh, put on my own 555 timer circuit. Um, I laid it out for uh, three different speeds, uh, basically three different capacitors that you can switch in and out with uh, with this header. And then I also laid out the uh, the two timing resistors to either be surface mount or uh, uh, inline through hole. Uh, you can do it either way you want. Um, I also added a run stop switch, a little slide switch, uh, so you can um, turn off uh, the clock. It, it basically the clock being generated by 555 goes through the switch and then continues on its way. So if the switch is open, it doesn't make it through the rest of the circuit, and that executes the stop. Um, if it's in the stop location, then you can also circumvent this switch with a push button switch. So it's, it's a momentary run. I'm just calling it the go switch. So I, I don't know how to single step yet because of all of the multi-generation. There's multi-clocks to generate the the two phase and then there's multiple clocks to generate the uh, microcode. So I just put in a little go button so I can uh, set the um, 555 to a reasonable slow speed and then I can just hold down the go button and I can just let up on it anytime I want to pause. Um, so I thought that would be a good addition. Um, so I'm going to send this out to have it made and we'll be able to uh, get our new uh, program counter up and running.